Hello guys, it's Chantal from Red Page Cafe. I am doing uh, week number three on Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And it is making a cover with a like Amazon package or some kind of cardstock or whatever. Recycling, right? So I've got this Amazon envelope. Sorry about the noise, guys. Um, and I'm going to create a soft cover, I think, with it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but I kind of have an idea of what I want to create, but I will bring you along and we'll see what happens. Now I am putting, it might be just the base, it might be simple, I don't know. I have not um, timed myself to see how quick I can create, but it's usually 45 minutes, so um, uh, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is, I don't want both pieces, so I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, cut it in half, right? So I'm going to prep it. So nothing too fancy here, because I want to cut it down anyway, so I'm just like cutting, I'm going to make it like straighter anyways after. I'm going to keep the bubble wrap too inside, this guy, so it's going to make it kind of soft. And squishy <laughs> okay so we're just gonna I'm not gonna worry about it being too perfect I'm just gonna take kind of like the top part I have a piece of fabric I think I'm gonna use um let's see how much I need. so I'm literally like this could make two covers right this big envelope it's just cut in half so I want like a regular kind of size I made this uh, fabric with, uh, I think it was uh, red cabbage a while ago, and I had, I couldn't remember where I put it, but I literally scrunched it up and just dipped pieces, and I just love how it turned out. So I'm going to use that as my cover. So instead of cutting it in half, I'm just going to fold it like that. And I will create some kind of cover with it. <laughs> so I think that's a good size. Uh, so I'm going to cut this down approximately. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because I'm going to trim it so it fits inside. So this is a great way of recycling um, the packages that you get in the mail. Um, Roxy, I will also, um, Rachel's uh, channel, I will also link her below. Uh, the one that she made with packaging as well, but it was like for books, it's like a cardboard package. I just didn't have any, so I just thought, why not try something else? So I'm going to sit down because I haven't sat down yet. And let's get started. So. I'm, I don't want any of this orange to be poking out on the sides, so I want it to be smaller than my fabric. And this fabric, I wanted to see, um, I have a signature somewhere or a piece of paper that I can measure it with. Where did I put them now? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have this lovely tickle in my throat, and I don't even know why, because... I mean, here's one a signature I'm working on. Um, see how it's got plenty of space around it? I might even trim it so it's a little shorter like that. I think that's probably a good size. I just want a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom so I can fray it. Um, it's just going to be the cover. And I am not sure what I'm going to create with it or how I'm going to like what I'm going to do yet. So I just wanted to see for size. So I think I'm going to trim this fabric a little bit. I'm just going to take a little bit off. Just like here, maybe. Excuse me. So I'm just going to rip it because that's how I like it. I like it. I like the raw edges. Okay. So... And that will kind of give me an idea of the size. Okay. So now I want to, um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece in between. This I'm going to keep because you can use it as a ruffle or whatever. 
different things you can do with that. But first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut these edges a little straighter. I want to see what I need. So the width is not bad. Well, I'm going to trim that part here. So this part is, I'm just cutting it kind of, not really straight, but sort of. <laughs> Another thing you can do is use maybe the bubbles on the back. I'm not sure. So that's, that's a good, like I want enough fabric to be kind of like this all the way around, sort of. Um, <clears throat> because this is not super thick, I will sew around it. Okay. This is going to be kind of, uh, I think, grungy. So this is kind of where I want it. So I'm just kind of not measuring, just taking about that much off. Gives me kind of an idea when I fold it. It doesn't need to be perfect because, like I said, it's going to be in between. That's what I'm thinking anyways. And then what I want to see is for, um, if I have enough, make sure I have enough room for my spine, which I'm pretty sure I do. I have plenty of room for a decent sized spine. So one sheet of paper, like your, your signature, this is a regular uh, printer paper, right? The, the height. So just going to, there's my pencil. This is where this one kind of ends. And then I'm just going to flip it on this side. So that gives me a decent size. That's a good signature. That's a good spine, I mean. Right? Got what? As you can tell, I'm very well organized and I don't have my stuff close by. So it's, it's that's a really good size, two and a half. So I'm happy with that. So it's going to be a, a larger journal. So next thing I'm going to do is put this away so I don't lose it because it's actually part of a journal that I'm working on. So I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. Now I'm looking at the fabric and I'm wondering if I don't like this side better. I don't know. They're pretty close. I love how grungy. Yeah, I think that I think it's on the right side. So what I want to do is I'm going to place this. Now I am going to be sewing the edges, okay? If you're not, you want to put enough fabric tag to hold it together. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put like a ton, but I'm gonna put enough so that it kind of holds my fabric in place. Sort of. And, um, my thread is a light blue color, so I might just leave it that color. Or I might just change it because it's almost like a teal color. Hey, the color in here. So now what I'm going to do is kind of just going to bring it in the middle, sort of like that. And I'm going to slowly cover it like this. And then I want to kind of just flatten it out. The only thing is that oh, I've got hair on this. Cats, maybe. Sorry, keep knocking that over. That's, that's all. I'm, I'm just trying to get some of the um, bub bubbles, <laughs> the air kind of out. And then I'm going to flip it. And do the same thing on the other side so it's not like overly fancy or anything like that but I think it's gonna give this nice fun kind of squishy effect and give it some softness but also some um, how would you say that I was gonna say texture but it's not texture some um, like cushion but also stability but it's also going to be soft. Does that make any sense at all? Anyways. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this. No, I just don't even want to cover it. I'm trying to think what I'm. What am I going to put on cover? Because, you know, I didn't think of all that. Right. I think I want this one to be kind of. Uh, 
a softer maybe with so this is kind of the base sort of I was gonna do it kind of this way but now I like this side I don't think I want to I'm sure I can move it around to get it to turn this way so now what I think I'm gonna do is kind of just sew around and I think I want to catch that a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty. It just makes it kind of squishy. But then I'm wondering if I go this way, um, I could add a picture, right? On um, Now, right here I just folded it, but I will cut it because I want it to fray. That is my intention anyways. So now I'm thinking... What do I want to kind of create right on the cover? I don't have um, any anything like that I want to use kind of do. Does that make any sense at all? I'm trying to think of what I want to uh, add. I do love... Um, called tea bags as texture and stuff um and then kind of like patchwork but i think these ones are a little dark so i'm gonna see because i think i have lighter ones sort of at the bottom see now i think i'm gonna use them kind of like patches almost um Let's see, let's play around. Let's see what we end up with. Just throw that in there for now. So this will be, I think this will be the cover. And then this will just be inside. It's so cool. I'm just trying to think of what I want to make with it. Okay. So I'm just going to just slowly go around and if it's not already stuck together. I don't think so. I don't I didn't really put any glue in the fabric. Nothing fancy here. And then after I'm done sewing it, I'm going to fray it. I think. I think I think that's the plan. <laughs> well, if it will fray, that is. It should. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because you kind of see like the Amazon package, I don't know if you can see it on camera, and there's this barcode. So what I want to do is kind of hide it. So I'm thinking that if I kind of go like that, I'm kind of making a patchwork. I don't think I want to cover any of those, to be honest. I really like them. But they also bring out the brown. And then... Um, just getting some of the tea off, sorry. Getting it everywhere. I'm thinking I want a kind of like piece there. I don't know if I want that one. I want more of a... I don't want them to be perfect. So I just want to see. And it's just going to be kind of like the background. And then I'll put some more um, things on top. So I'm just going to maybe, maybe like that. Unless I go the other way. Where's the thread? Definitely. Like so. Um, I just really love how tea bags give some really cool textures. So 
I'm um, thinking maybe a, like this debate. I think I want this one more this way. Oops. Sorry, I'm just kind of I'm not talking. I'm just I'm just kind of playing to see what I like. Um, I'm just looking at my options here. Sometimes it's just I just start playing just to see what I like. There's no real reason. I do like that dark one, to be honest. I think I want another dark one over here, maybe. Kind of contrasting, right? Hmm. <laughs> My thing is to not overthink, right? So we'll just start gluing, I think. Just not think. Just start playing. Go like this, and then just debating if I want. I'm going to separate them. I have like one here, and then maybe this one should be this way. But then this one is oddly odd, oddly odd. Do you think, hey? Like, what are you doing with this tea bag, Chantal? Is that what you guys are thinking? There is a, a reason. There is a. I kind of do like the dark. It's funny how that. I was like, no, I want the light ones, and now it's like, hmm, I think I like the dark. I don't even. You know what? Just, just, I don't know what do we, we just kind of do. Now, this is my background, right? So there's going to be more layers on top, probably. Um, I can't remember. Because I could use fabrics, but. I had taken some fabric out, but I don't think it will work because of the, the difference in color. Color is not... It's not working with what I'm thinking. I want it to be kind of like... It's like patchwork, I guess. I'm just wondering if I want... What do you think that would work, eh? Um, hmm, hmm. I think I'm just gonna start kind of cutting. I can't think too much, otherwise I'm gonna be here all night. And then I'll go looking like this. Right here. Okay, and then I'm thinking. Maybe kind of like that. Possibly. Oops. Like that, maybe. Um, where's my other piece of cloth? Um, thinking. I want the bigger flower. It's just about just playing and seeing what you like, right? I want kind of like a, a patchwork. I'm just not sure that I want this huge. 
Let's see. Let me cut some of this off. Sorry if I'm all out of frame. I'm just cutting down my soup. Oh, shoot. This fabric, right? I just kind of want little um, patchwork. But I almost want like a darker kind of go there. Contrast. Oh, I keep losing my beacons. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick those down because I think that's what I want. Now, I'm going to be sewing around these kind of patches like around here. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do it on like kind of maybe I feel like I'm missing something Maybe kind of like that. Thinking, thinking that this guy almost needs to be this way. I don't know. Just maybe this guy this way. I don't know. Um, I'm still playing. <laughs> They're kind of like pretty close to the same area, so I don't want them to be exactly the same. I think I need another kind of, sorry, I'm looking around my office is what, that's what I'm doing right now. A color that could like help things kind of pop or or bring some of the colors out sort of. Um, Thinking maybe um, even like maybe like you know that. Well, I'm just going to start gluing some of the stuff. I don't think I think we're gonna. I think this guy is just too big. Put you over here, and I'm just gonna make like small for right. Right now, I think I'm going to glue these patches real quick. Just because, not like crazy amounts of glue, just a little bit, just kind of to tack them. Because I, I I like them where they are right now. I don't want them to be perfectly, you know, glued. I'm okay with them having like texture because that's the fun part of all this, I think, is to play, especially when it comes with, to tea bags, playing with texture. That's the fun part about tea bags. They add this lovely, lovely, lovely texture and I'm getting it. It's just gooping everywhere. Like I need that much glue. Anyway to catch the goop before it goes everywhere see how I'm like kind of crunching it to give it that extra texture everything's getting stuck to my fingers now which I kind of figured was going to happen just doesn't want to leave maybe it just needs to be in included in the craziness what do you think a little okay. 
I don't really, I can't tell you for sure when this journal will be finished. So just don't get too excited because I need to finish some other projects first. But I really wanted to kind of keep up with or catch up. So I'm trying to get some of these done. Okay, so that's, oh, we can just throw that there, hey? Why not? Give it some added, now I'm gonna have to add some at other places too. So they're just gonna be like all random bits. Now what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna be inking this. It's really sticky. I don't know that I want to do that yet, so I'm just going to try to get it off my fingers. <clears throat> I'm not, like, overly good at creating fast. <laughs> it's probably been close to that amount of time already. Well, I think I'm going to just, like, crunch this kind of higher. All kinds of goopers. I'm gonna make it stick to my fingers. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. I really want like that texture, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Now, what else did I want to maybe add in the background with these little fabrics that? Could go like this and like that why not let's just do it let's not think and then it I find it huge difference once you uh, add the sewing to just gives more texture more dimension I kind of want it on top of that I just don't want to think too much. I just want to play. Thinking way too much lately. Not enough playing. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'm still in frame. And I'm thinking that I kind of really like that, to be honest. And then I want to put some. Sorry, silk, I'm thinking. As like a ruffle or something. Let me see what other colors I've got. Sorry, I just took the goobers off of that. Now, um, the sorry silk, the sewing part, I'll probably add it when I'm sewing. So I'll probably be taking my sewing machine out and sewing around and then showing you what that looks like. I'm just trying to see if I've got this one. Ooh, it's so pretty. I really like that color. Um, I've got like some kind of almost, no, I'm not going to think I'm just going to do. Okay. I'm going to move. Sorry if I shake the my phone. Okay, so I'm just going to move some stuff over. Move some stuff out of the way so I can get my sewing machine here closer. So you guys can see, get these out of the way. Okay. Fabric. Sorry, I'm just moving some stuff out of the way a little bit so I can move that there. I don't want this pencil right now. Okay. My sewing machine has a light blue in it, but I think it'll still work. Um, Hopefully, get it in frame. My pedal's right there. I'm just gonna check real quick. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing and not be stuck in everything. Okay, I'm at 30 minutes, you guys, so we're doing okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put that there for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew all the way around. What I'm gonna do is just kind of like do a, a 
crazy stitch or whatever you want to call it. Like I don't want it to be perfect. I'm going to sew twice around and then I'm going to sew like the patches, right? I might actually do the patches first so they don't kind of fall off. And I'm just, I don't know. I don't even, I'm not even 100% sure what I'm going to do around the patches, but I'm thinking straight with a, a little zigzag. Um, I'll show you. So I'm just going to, so I'm sorry if it's loud. I'm just going to start here. And then I'm going to do zigzag to give it. I feel like I'm falling off the patch. I don't want this to be perfect. I just want kind of a, a uh, oh, I wanted to put some, sorry, silk. Should I put it at the bottom? <laughs> I started with the patch and I wasn't thinking of using, doing it right way. See, just going with it. There's a, just, just a reason for it, right? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so how I do my ruffles, I use a card, if you're new to my channel, and that's how I make, like, a random ruffle. I don't want it to be perfect. I just, it's getting caught underneath. I just, sometimes I'll just use my fingers too, like it's getting caught in. I really don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be a messy, a, a really messy ruffle. Okay, so just so you guys know. Sorry, I'm just like twirling, doing what I don't want it to do. I think I'm just gonna do a couple more little bits here. Okay, scissors, cut this little guy. There, just kind of because it's not thick, because it's packaging, it's it's giving you it's giving me almost like a quilted um like it pops up it looks really cool so i'm gonna put a little zigzag here just because no real reason kind of caught in the back there and then i'll finish off Okay, finish that patch. See, just like that. Nothing is perfect, and that's exactly what I want. I don't want anything to be perfect. So now I'm just gonna go to this patch because they feel like they're gonna, and then uh, this one, I think. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I might. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just kind of just going with the flow here. <laughs> just winging it, you guys. No real plan. Because that's how I work. Just try to just play and not think too much. I'm just going to back up. Just because it's a little easier do it that way. Well, I mean, sort of. Okay. I think I want to turn around and do it another time around. Like kind of like crazy sort of stitch. Don't 
want it to be perfect. Because who wants perfect? And you can just have fun. Right? So there's all these threads now this is up to you I don't mind having threads everywhere I'm probably gonna trim some of them but I'll probably keep a lot of them as well so there's a little patch there kind of thing going on okay so um, what do I want to do next it truly really just doesn't matter does it there's probably an easier way of doing this but I think I'm gonna do the zigzag for this one zigzag with that oh it like skipped here didn't like it not sure why but that's okay it just gives a character right oh here too it skipped i might have to check out the tension so i think i'm just gonna go all the way around i don't know why i'm just feeling like i should do around so i'm kind of doing um just giving it i don't even know I'm not even sure what I'm trying to say, so I'm just going to go around. <laughs> okay. Now go to the bottom. what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another round of kind of crazy stitching right so I'm just gonna kind of go like this kind of like sort of you'll see what I do so I don't want it to be perfect I just kind of want to go back and forth I don't know what happened there on that corner I kind of like the zigzag. I'm going to kind of move it over. So it's kind of on top of that line. Just for fun.
egg right here. And then go back to the normal. around and now I'm gonna just finish the patches or whatever you want to call them the tea bag the tea bag patches that is all I'm doing I want this ruffle kind of Anything to be kind of perfect in any way so I want it to kind of be messy okay so let's do so it's kind of gonna look like this right I want it to be kind of fluffy anyways and I'm going to ink those up too as well okay so let's do the back Even my patches are not straight. Okay. The nice thing about this uh, type of kind of cover is that you're not, it's quite soft, right? easy to like squish down if you need to to get it where you need it yep if it's so close oh no it's like okay you mm, we'll would just go Leave it at that and then cut this piece and then I'm gonna stick maybe we'll zigzag this one right oops it's popping up okay why well, not zigzag here for some odd reasons close zigzags and skipping. So 
sorry if my head goes in 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 the shot I'm trying to kind of look at it from afar <laughs> I was debating if I should like maybe fast forward this part because a lot of stitching but yeah some reason okay I need to stitch this little part right here my thread is out. I have to re-thread it. Now there's something I've always kind of wanted to like kind of freestyle and uncovers. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be doing it right now though. Cause, Cause you know, it's one of those things. One of those things that. Kind of made sort of like leaves there. For no real reason, just just because because I can because <laughs> I actually kind of like it how they look they almost look like flames but I was supposed to just kind of sew around it, but now I'm like making leaves. <laughs> you know, with blue. <laughs> just playing, you know, just because I'm on a time crunch and all. We're just going to play. Might be a part two to this because I don't even know how long I've been doing this. I need to do something with that little flappity flap. So I got lots of thread everywhere. But I'm quite okay with that. So this is kind of what the inside looks like. Which I really don't mind. I feel like now they need this one needs some of those little flames or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to do that. Why not, right? I think I am out of thread, you guys. Yep. So anyways, I'm going to move this for a minute and kind of show you guys where I'm at. See what the time is at. Oh, I'm at 40 minutes. So here's kind of the base of what I've created in 45 minutes. I will probably come back and show you a bit more because my spine... Um, Sorry, just going to cut some of these. Just trim them. Just a little bit. So it's just kind of to show a base that you could use with um, Amazon package. Now it's not the same as the cardboard, but it's super soft and squishy. And I, I really actually like the sound of the bubbles inside. I really do. I'm probably going to possibly have a part two to this. I'm not sure yet. Let's see how I did kind of the leaves. 
I kind of like, and that's what I was going to do over on this side, but I ran out of thread. So, oh, I got one little bit here, looks like. But I wanted to add, I don't know if you guys can see that right here. I wanted to add more in here, kind of like this one. So, I'm probably going to trim quite a bit of these longer kind of sewn thread. I hope that you kind of enjoyed the process of this. And uh, I will have to come back and show you um, the next part maybe. But for now, I hope you had fun and you enjoyed my process. And uh, I will probably ink. Actually, I'm just going to leave it open and you let me know. If you guys want to see the next like part two of the cover because it's taking a little longer than uh, 45 minutes it's already almost at 50 some minutes so I'm gonna cut it off now and I hope that you enjoy and that you maybe try it give it a go and there's the inside um, you could definitely ink it or you can keep it soft like that or you can add an extra like thickness for your spine um where is my sorry i know i was I said i was going to stop it but my signature is about there right for example here i'll just grab a couple of signatures just to kind of show you what it would look like because i have some here for a project that i'm working on so it would be kind of like i think i need more than two have I have like four projects going on at the same time yep that's how I roll so uh, you would need at least I would think at least three maybe even four signatures so there's three signatures and then see how it would be oh, I think she would be pretty so you could add like a thicker piece there to have like a stronger spine but I really 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 I really like her how she turned out so i hope you enjoyed and i will talk to you later bye for now